It's another one of my famous letting go, just say goodbye to some of these pens here. And I've already been fixing pens. Yes, my fingers are dirty. You don't have to make those comments. So here's a big bunch of pens. Most of these will be Triumph nibbed pens, which most of the time have nibs that are relatively, well, they're almost always, this is a ballpoint pen, evil, that are almost always um, inflexible. Some, as you can see, have standard nibs here in this box. And what I'm going to do is try to organize them and get rid of duplicates. So let's just start pulling them out. Now this is a crest pen, which is a keeper, just because they're a weird thing that they made. So that doesn't belong in this thing. So let's just figure this out. Let's just sort them out. I'm doing metal caps, or full caps, chrome caps, and then we'll there's a pencil, and then we'll see if we can find duplicates, and if we can find duplicates, let's get rid of them, because I'm running out of room in, in the drawers I've got. Now, I often will, if need be, um, and my cat wants to join me again. Kitty, you can't be here when I'm doing this. Here, you get down. I know, I know, Kitty. You have to be where the fun is. Let's just... Let's just take these. What does this do? Where is this one supposed to go? That's another crest pen. Does this fit better? No, it doesn't fit. Okay, one of the things that most of you understand and know is I really like, I like pens that have names on them. And if I can find a pen that has a name on it, chances are I'll keep it because no one else wants them. And this one, um, M-A-L from M-I-L, Mal from Mill. It says on it, Mal from Mill. And do I have the pen to go with it? It seems like I don't have the pen to go with it, so it's a keeper anyway. We'll just set it there, keep. This one is M. R Rayworth. M. Rayworth owned this pen. Do I have a pencil to match? No. Um, This is a set. Do I need it? No, that's not a set. These are these are identical. No, they're not identical. One has a little white dot. This is a white dot and a period, which means that little dot right there means it's a ballpoint pen. And uh, so I have to keep that because no one wants them, of course. Um, are these two otherwise the same? These two seem to be the same. Are they the same? Yes, they are the same. So look, and they have to go like this. Now this this cap doesn't really want to stay on, so I may need to figure out if I've got another cap I can swap that works. No. Um, maybe I have a chrome cap that will work. Do any of these things even match this one? This matches. There's a set right there, right then and there. 
Looks like it has a big, broad, blobby nib. Now, if I can maybe replace this barrel. Oh, that's a nice nib, though. That's almost like that is a stub, and it's flexible. Keeper, keeper, keeper. Ah! Keep, keep. Well, that's what happens, you see. That's a keeper. This is the nib, and this one just want to stay on. Okay, this this goes not exactly with that one, but I'm going to set it aside with that one. This. Okay, this pencil goes with that cap. Any of these caps that has a name on it. I guess I have to keep the name. Actually, all I need to do is keep the cap. But I think this nib is also quite nice. It's very, very fine. So we'll keep that one. I'm going to put this in the sale drawer just because I can sale. This one, ooh, this has a really, really fine nib. You see how fine it is? You can't even see it. Come on, ink, go. Does this cap work better? Sometimes I'm not happy with caps that are tarnished like this one is. Sometimes they don't bother me, but this one bothers me. I think it's the clip that I don't particularly like. So I'm going to keep that one. Do I have a name? Do I have one that has a name on it that I'd rather keep? I'm going to just set that there because maybe I'll f find a different thing to make it go. This is a nice nib, but I don't need it. That's a crappy cap, which I don't need. This is a maybe cap to keep. That pencil goes with that. Keep that. This is the ballpoint pen. So this is a three-piece set, a three-way, a threesome. See? Oops. This needs a white dot on it. No, has a white dot there. I hate when they do that. Let's put it on the bottom to confuse you. Okay, so those three go together. I'll just keep them together. Oh, my cat's coming back. That's another ballpoint. See, it has the little, the little raised dot. It means it's the ballpoint pen. So that has to be with that one. Though... I'm, Kitty, I think this barrel should be smaller, shorter. I mean, it should be this short, I would think. Oh, I know, Kitty. Another. Do I have another cap I can put on this one? No. This one well, has a name on it, which I like. Keep that one. Okay, I got rid of one. That's not nearly enough. Let's try the silver cap. Pencil, 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 pencil. Okay, here's the set, pen and pencil set. And just because it's easy, I'm going to keep them. Now I may, you know, just keep it easier to just, just keep it. Okay, this one. 
really not this one has two white dots that's an abomination white dot there white dot there so we have to switch the cap see it's supposed to have a white dot there but not here which it doesn't so this is a correct way this is not a correct way but this is one of those extra fat ones so maybe ooh i can switch it like that look at that see i fixed it this has the white dot this does not have the white dot so i now made a correct thing out of it ouch almost dropped it almost dropped it and there is a set It actually is a set. Look, look at the little extra gold bit around the white dot. So that's a keeper. Um, these, one of these goes with this one. These two go together, except this one doesn't have a name on it. Close enough. Ooh, look at this one though. Why am I dropping things today? It seems to me that there can be there are duplicates here. Now this cap, I have a pen that this might fit on better. We'll keep that there. That's the set. We're calling it a set. Okay, so now we've got these three look like they're more or less identical. So let's get rid of one of them at least. I'm not looking at you. That's the set. Call that a call that a set. These three look identical. One's probably a snorkel. Can I get rid of this one? Nice nib on it, but we can, we'll get rid of it. Just say goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So this one has a name on it, which I want to keep. But, ooh, and then there's a price sticker on it that makes some people happy. doesn't make me happy at all, but it makes other people happy, so that's a good one to sell. But they're not going to want it with the name on it. So we'll do that. How about that? This one. This one looks like it has a really, really fine nib, but this cap looks too big. It's supposed to be flusher, I thought. better. This barrel looks like it may have been shrunk. Very, very fine nib on this one. Okay, get rid of this one. Perfectly good pen. Has a price sticker on it. It is a snorkel. Does it work? Who knows? And the person that would buy this probably would never fill it with ink anyway, so who cares? I probably have a nib, a, a cap that does not have the white dot, though. Which probably would be a better match. So, anyway, figure that out later. Now we're done with the, just the black ones. Okay, this is a piston fill, which may work. Um, just one white dot on that one. That seems to be fine. This is a Triumph nib. There's something about Triumph nibs that I really find 
really cool, even though they are almost always very firm. This one, this nib, is fine. There's nothing wrong with this pen at all, but I think I could say goodbye to it. Why am I saying goodbye to this one? Because I probably have a duplicate. See, these are two, they're almost identical. One has a wider band, one, one has a white dot up there. Is that why I'm going to have to keep this one? Because of the white dot tectonics there where they move around? Why can't Schaefer get their act together? Maybe that was a way for people to see without having to move their neck to dislocate their neck to be able to see. This doesn't belong in here. I have a drawer full of these pens. And oh, that's going to go. That doesn't belong here. Okay, this goes with one of these. Doesn't make any difference which. This belongs on a short pen. This is too long for this one. So, well, see this belongs like on this one, a short, a short pen. Um, and where did my short thing go here? Should I, see that doesn't screw on. It screws on there. Stupid pens. Not a lifetime pen. This doesn't need a, isn't supposed to have a white dot on it. That's a ballpoint. See that little thing there? Ballpoint. Okay, I think I can probably get rid of both of these. Keep that. I have two of these. Where did it go? Right here. Why am I doing that? I've got two identical pens. I do not need both of these. So I will, one of these is going to go to you. I'll figure out which one later. These are more or less identical. One of these is going to go to you. I'll figure out which one of those later. See how fun, fun this is? These are more or less Id identical pens. All, all three of these, more or less, are identical. So one of these barrels will go in the, in the selling pile. And I've got two of these. This one and that one. Both of them. And these oh they both fit. These both fit. This might actually belong better there because of it doesn't have the white dot. This is not a lifetime nib. So that probably fits on that thing. And this one will fit on a lifetime pen. A short lifetime pen like I'll figure it out. I want to keep this one because of the initials, though. So I'll find a different barrel for that. Do I need this one? Oh, that's a really broad nib. Better keep it. I'm now looking at pens over here that are full of ink. This has a flexible nib signature pen. Keep that for the moment. Oh, 
Oh well. Ballpoint keep. Not that I want a ballpoint. But I'm keeping it because I can't sell them. This is a piston fill pen, which I think works. Um, I don't like selling piston fill pens because I cannot fix them. Um, and when I can't fix something, I don't like to sell it. This is just a pencil that doesn't mean anything to anyone other than me. So this one, I need to find a, a barrel for this. And I need to find... I need to find a barrel for that. Barrel. Okay, now the important part, which one of these is going to go away? Got these. So I've got these three. I'm going to keep two. I'm going to keep both of the caps, but I do not need three pens to go with both of the caps. So let's figure out which barrel I'm going to get rid of. These are all liver filling pens. This one has, I like my Triumph nibs to sort of have four pens in one. So it can write sideways down upside down, sideways, and down. And this one this seems to be sort of only a two point, two notes it makes. The up and down seem very, very similar. And I like them to be a little bit different, a little bit of a stub nib. See this one, there's a difference between the side stroke and the down stroke. So this is almost like having four pens in one. You just rotate it and aim it in a direction. So that, that's better than this one. And this last one, this, this one, this one is very similar to this one, except that this one is finer. So I'm going to keep both of these, and this is one that I'm going to get rid of. And actually this one will be the one that will be easier to sort of sell because it's really very smooth, good for a lefty. So if you're a lefty, let me know. Okay, so these two are... Kitty is going to join me again. Keepers. Okay, these two. These two are essentially the same pen, same nibs. So let's find out which of these we can say goodbye to. Okay, this one has a slightly flexible nib. This one has a firmer nib. It, is, it does have a slight flex to it, but it is firmer. So I'm going to... Oh, kitty. Is this the one you want to try? Keep that one. This one goes. Okay, and these two. These two are they are really, really fun. I like seeing the Triumph nib on a pen that you don't expect a Triumph nib to be on. And there's something very stealthy about this one. It's so black, except for its nib. So this is the one that's going to go away. And I think part of it is due to the fact that This nib seems smaller, um, and I sort of like the way that looks. So which cap am I going to keep? I'll keep the shinier cap. That's normally not how I decide things, but that's how I'm deciding it now. 
Oh, the kitty has decided to nap now. Yes, I know, kitty. This one seems kind of scratchy. Is this the one I wanted to keep? No, this is the one that I wanted. Is it scratchy? No. Good. Well, I've got rid of some pens. This fit on here. Just say no, just get rid of it. There we go. These crest pens, which I'm keeping because they're rare. Uh, and they often are stripped like this. The threads don't match, so... Or the threads are stripped. So I really need to keep these just because I can't very well sell that one anyway. There we go.